Good morning. I'm very happy to present our National Recovery and Resilience Plan together with my colleagues from Germany, France, and Spain. The introduction of the next generation EU is a defining moment in the process of European integration. It will contribute to the achievement of three fundamental objectives for our economies and societies. First, repairing the economic and social damage from the pandemic. Second, building more dynamic, scientifically and technologically advanced economies that can prosper in a global environment while ensuring inclusiveness. Third, launching a substantial and non-reversible green transition to tackle climate change. We have finalized the Italian Recovery and Resilience Plan and are about to submit it by the end of this week. Both Houses of Parliament carry the motion by a large majority approving the presentation of the plan as made by the Prime Minister. Resources from the Recovery and Resilience Facility amount to 191 billion, about 12% of our GDP. We are committed, we also committed additional national resources by creating a 30 billion complementary fund whose design and monitoring scheme will follow that of the Recovery and Resilience Plan. Projects are organized in six missions that focus on, on key areas, digitalization, innovation, competitiveness and culture, green revolution and ecological transition, infrastructure for a sustainable mobility, education and research, inclusion and cohesion, healthcare. Overall, the green and digital investment are 40% and 27% of the total, respectively. Two examples of concrete targets. We intend to raise the share of renewable sources to 72% by 2030 and to provide high-speed connectivity everywhere in the country by 2026. Inclusiveness is an overarching objective pursued by all missions. It is declined among, uh, along the three main dimensions, gender parity, youth inclusion, and reduction of regional disparities. In particular, about 40% of total resources are allocated to the south to address the divide with the north that is still too large. Only if we close the gender, generational, and regional gaps, we can reach robust and sustainable growth in the medium term. In designing the plan, one of our guiding principles has been that no investment strategy can deliver its full potential unless it is complemented by ambitious structural reforms. Having this in mind, our plan will include a reform of public administration aimed at improving, digitalizing, and streamlining procedures and enhancing human capital. A just reform with objective of reducing the length of procedure. We estimate a 40% reduction for civil justice procedures. A reform of public procurement and an array of regulatory simplification. Italy is also committed to implement an annual competition law starting in 2021. These reforms will not only enable a timely and effective implementation of the investment project of the plan, they will also lay the foundation for a stronger structural growth over a longer horizon, greater human and physical capital, greater inclusion, and structural reform will increase potential growth, productivity, and employment. The implementation of the Recovery and Resilience Plan and the Complementary Plan will contribute to build a more digitalized and innovative country, one that is environmentally sustainable, open to women and young generation, and geographically inclusive. Thank you very much.